Youssef Alshamari, CEO of C-Markets. Good morning and thank you for joining us, Youssef. Uh, hello, Alexander. Good afternoon. Um, Youssef, I'd like to kick off with the OPEC meeting this Thursday. Certainly, it's going to be one of the most interesting for many reasons. Uh, so far, we do see the crude oil price slightly lower, both for WDI future contracts and the brand. First of all, what's driving the, the price action? And secondly, what do you expect from the OPEC? All right. So currently, we have in the, for the past uh, in the last week and today opening this week, we had this uh, Swiss Canal closure, which has pretty much affected the price movement. Uh, seen first, uh, we had seen first a major, uh, uh, an increase of five percent increase. The concerns of the blockage of the Swiss Canal, and then of course, as you know now, the Swiss Canal is uh, completely open. So uh, currently, with the, the market has already priced in an expected rollover of OPEC plus cut. Yet, uh, of course, we cannot confirm that, that uh, and, until we see. The meeting that is going to happen uh, after tomorrow. So th now today we've seen the JTC, which is the Joint Technical Committee advising OPEC ministers, has met and they have not made yet any uh, formal recommendations. Um, but um, all uh, indications shows shows that um, there is a possibility of uh, extending the uh, world, uh, the current cuts through May, but with an expected increase uh, of in production coming from uh, the Russian side. Of course, as we move uh, towards the summer, the demand could increase and that could lead to more uh, demand, uh, of course, for oil, especially within Russia. So we could expect a rise in Russian production by additional 100,000 uh, barrels uh, on top of the 125,000 barrels that we've seen that we will actually see in April. Um, and I believe possibly currently we're seeing a, a kind of uh, already a, that has already been priced in. Since since uh, the past couple of days, and that's why we have not seen any uh, significant movement today from the JTC yet. I could expect that if uh, OPEC makes a decision uh, on uh, on the fir 1st of April, then I would expect we could see a, kind, a, a slight price rally uh, over the next week. Um, I was wondering, you were talking about the Suez Canal, which is uh, back on track, if we can say like that. Uh, do you think this is going to be an issue for for the OPEC meeting and of course the OPEC plus members. Uh, well, the the uh, issue is already resolved, so I don't think it will be of a concern now. So already there are more than ninety ships already will travel through the canal uh, today, and additional forty ships uh, tomorrow. So I don't think uh, this. If, if certainly, if the canal would have continued to be blocked, then certainly that will be of an issue. But uh, for now, I think the. Uh, uh, this concern is, is more of a relief. So you, you don't think there are going to be, how can I say, a supply chain problems due to these um, three or four days of kind of um, locked uh, Suez Canal? Um, uh, to be honest, no, I don't think there will be any uh, supply problems through the canal now, as because we kind of see almost uh, back to uh, the, the shipping side, the, 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 the shipping travel through the canal is almost back to normal. Of course, there will be some ships trapped, already more than 400 ships trapped, but within a few days, they, all these ships can continue to travel as normal. There are no persisting uh, issues with the canal itself that can affect the uh, normal traveling movement, apart from that ship, the ever, the ever given ship, which got stuck for possibly technical and uh, um, uh, wind uh, issues. Uh, so I don't think that will be of an issue. But the most concern for OPEC ministers now is actually demand in Europe and vaccination rate. Uh, of course, inventories continue to be a bit high. They are rebounding in the US. Currently, they are, they are more than 500 million barrels. And uh, last year, we've seen the inventories going down to about 460 million barrels. So if inventories continues to rise, that could offset the hard work done by OPEC in 2020. So I think that will be the uh, most important concerns for OPEC ministers uh, while meeting uh, in the, just uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow. Final question. So do you think the vaccine rollout in Europe is going to be, how can I say, one of the major market movers? Because we do see that, for example, uh, for Easter, uh, we're going to be once again locked at home, which means travel is not allowed and which means um, less crude oil needed. Absolutely. So that's why that could add uh, or uh, uh, support the decision of a rollover. 
because uh, well, what we're doing in our scenarios, we're seeing, we're think, considering a lockdown in Europe throughout April. So if that scenario continue, and this is the most likely scenario, so that supports the decision of OPEC to extend the cut for additional months as, until we see a, uh, a kind of uh, a better return to of the, and better demand recovery in Europe, perhaps during the summer when the vaccination rate continues to increase. Of course, most uh, many European countries are expecting to offer all va vaccines to all types of uh, uh, ages for all ages by July, and if that uh, that is achieved, then. I would expect demand to come back uh, strongly uh, after uh, in the second half of this year. All right. Thank you very much, Youssef Al Shamari, CEO, CEO C Markets. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day ahead. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much.